Today I'm going to talk about Wolverine, Volume 1. This is from 1982 and it is written by Chris Claremont, penciled by Frank Miller and inked by Joseph Rubinstein. This is a four-issue limited series from 1982, one of the first series that Marvel did as a limited series. It starts off as Wolverine is pretty much hunting for a crazed bear in Canada. He finds the bear, kills it, but it is revealed that it had an arrow in its back, which had poison on it, which caused the animal to go insane. He would go to the local bar and grill, where he would meet the hunter, which had caused the bear to go insane, and teach him a lesson. You might recognize all of this from the Wolverine movie from 2013 which has a very similar story in the beginning. The story continues with Wolverine pretty much reminiscing about Mariko Yashida, the woman he loves. He had met her previously in the Uncanny X-Men previous to this story. He had recently found some unopened letters which he had sent to her, which she then had sent back to him, which caused him to want to go to Japan, to Tokyo, to meet with her again. He meets with Asano, who is a friend of his and who works very high up in Tokyo overall, probably like a police officer or something like that. He tells Wolverine that Mariko's father, who she believed had been dead for many years, had actually just returned and taken over as the head of the clan Yashida. Lord Shingen, as her father is called, had also made sure that Mariko was married to a person of his own choice. Something that Wolverine had very great difficulty of accepting. So naturally Wolverine went to the Yashida ancestral stronghold to meet with Mariko and after she told him several times that she wanted him to leave, uh, that it wasn't right for him to be there, he forced her to show him her face and he could see that she had been beaten, probably by her husband. Wolverine met the husband who was very aggressive, not only towards Mariko but towards Logan himself. Upon the wishes from Mariko, he would leave the husband alone and was just about to leave the compound when he was attacked by some poisoned shurikens. He then met Lord Shingen, who pretty much challenged him to a duel with some practice swords, as he didn't feel that Wolverine was worthy of the proper sword. After defeating Wolverine, Shingen then left Wolverine's drugged body in an alley, where he was saved by Yukio from some thugs. In the second issue, Wolverine and Yukio fights the Hand. The Hand had been hired by Lord Shingen himself and after defeating the Ninjas, Wolverine took Yukio back to her place again. It turned out that Yukio had been working for Lord Shingen. One thing that she was supposed to do was to kill Wolverine but she has had difficulty doing that as she is actually in love with him. Upon meeting Shingen once again and defeating the Ninja of the Hand, she took a mission to kill one of the adversaries of Lord Shingen. She and Wolverine, later that night, went to a theater where apparently Mariko and her husband was also attending. This person that she was going to kill was there as well. As Wolverine saved Mariko from assassins and was busy fighting some of their ninjas, Mariko took care of her mark by killing him, blowing up his car. And there was a little bit of a plan there by Yukio herself to make Mariko see just how savage Wolverine could be, which he did. Third issue continues with Wolverine have been drinking quite a lot, uh, being drunk. He uh, met Asano and pretty much turned him down on a mission that he needed help with. While Wolverine was dozed off, Yukio was confronted by the Hand, who pretty much told her that she needs to complete her mission by killing Wolverine, otherwise they would kill her. So naturally she attacked them. As she was in love with Wolverine, she tried to arouse him from his drunken sleep, but as he pretty much mumbled Mariko's name instead, she decided to kick him in the face and realized that she would never be able to have him. As Wolverine woke up, he noticed that As uh, Asano had been killed by Yukio, who he then chased across Tokyo, and as confronting her, the hand showed up trying to kill Wolverine and her as well. Wolverine killed this hand Ninjas and Yukio escaped. Final issue, Wolverine issues a challenge once again to Lord Shingen and he then invaded the Yashida compound. 
Mariko at this time was feeling very much doubtful against her husband and her father, hating both of them, but feeling that her father was pretty much disgracing her house and anything to do with her family, really. She hated him for him being so evil. Yukio was caught by the hand and then placed in front of Lord Shingen, who proceeded in beating the crap out of her. Wolverine, however, turned up, killed the uh, the hand Ninjas, who was around in the compound. And then, as Mariko's husband took Mariko trying to leave, Wolverine pretty much stopped him from leaving, but Yukio herself killed Mariko's husband. And as Yukio left, Wolverine was faced in an impasse. And I quote here, he said that, I can't forgive her for Asano, and I can never repay her for Mariko. So I let her go. Which is pretty nice. If you know later on as well, Yukio would turn out to be helping Storm a lot. Teaching her how to do certain things and pretty much helping her in her rebellious phase some years later. Now it is the main event. Lord Shingen versus Wolverine. And this fight is very brutal. It's savage and just brilliantly done by Frank Miller here. Eventually though... As you probably would suspect, it ends with Wolverine killing Lord Shingen. After he has done this, he feels kind of ashamed that he has killed someone and... Well, not that he has killed someone per se, but that it is dishonorable to kill the love of his life's father. That is something that weighs heavily on him and Mariko is trying to let him understand that it's okay. She was actually also telling him that if Shingen had survived his and Wolverine's duel, she would have slain him herself, and then, if successful, taking her own life, as per ritual suicide, which of course would have been absolutely awful, but luckily Wolverine got there first, so he pretty much saved her life as well. And they would actually turn out to get engaged. So that's that. That is the story, and I hope you enjoyed it. This is actually one of my favorite stories. I remember reading this so many years ago and I think I read this one more than I read any other comic really. And it's just brilliantly done, amazing storytelling and love how Wolverine has this sort of honor behind him even though he's fighting against his true nature, still being Wolverine. This just just amazing really yeah so subscribe share like all of that and i hope you've enjoyed all this yeah bye